Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today it's British Pie Week, so to celebrate, I'm going to make a pie. I'm going to make stargazy pie. Yeah, British Pie Week runs from the 6th of March to the 12th of March this year, 2023, and it's been going since 2007 when it was invented by Just Roll to promote sales of their ready rolled puff pastry and short crust pastry. I don't know if they're still involved in it, the uh, website doesn't seem to be updated or, or anything, but um, Pie Week is still a thing. So over the years on this channel I have made hundreds of pies, well, a couple of dozen probably. So I was somewhat short of inspiration because I've done all the main types of pies. I put a message on my community tab on the channel asking for help and advice and suggestions and I got quite a lot but most of them I've already done. However, there are three that have made the cut. One I'll do this week, the other two in, in the coming weeks or months. So you'll have to wait and see if you suggested it. Anyway, Stargazy Pie, you may have come across this, you may not. It comes from the tiny fishing village of Mausel. Mausel, not mouse hole, Mausel, near Penzance in Cornwall, right down there at the end of the country. And it was requested by Tony Hong. It's also been requested by many other people previously, but I've always kind of poo-pooed it because really I'm a bit scared of the way it looks. It's got fish heads sticking out the top. It doesn't actually look very appetizing, but if you can ignore the fish heads, it's a fish pie in pastry, which is, you know, fish pies normally are just with a mashed potato top. So th this, this will be somewhat different and it'll be lovely. There is a legend attached to the Stargazy pie and it runs that uh, in the 16th century, there was a very, very stormy winter and the fishing boats couldn't go out and you know, it's a very isolated village and the villagers were starving because they lived on fish basically and there was nothing to eat. So one day a chap called Tom Borcock, no photos available <laughs> in the 16th century, I don't know why, very bravely went out in his boat and caught a load of fish. And the catch was then baked into a huge pie and you know, paraded around the village and everybody had some and it had the fish head sticking out to prove that there were fish inside it. Mm, dodgy story if you ask me. Anyway, it's become a tradition in Mausel on the 23rd of December, Tom Borcock's day or night uh, at the Ship Inn, which is I think the only pub in Mausel, they bake a huge stargazy pie with six or seven different kinds of fish in it and everybody can have a bit. If you enjoy this video, give it a like, share, subscribe, etc. Let's get on with it. Stargazy pie. I'm going to make the pastry first because that will need to rest before we can actually make the pie. So I've got 250 grams of plain all-purpose flour, 125 grams of butter, a teaspoon of salt and some water, just enough to make it come together in a bowl. I've also got a, a fluted sort of flan case with a loose bottom and that's 23 centimetres across, about 9 inches. So we will add the salt and stir that in and then we want to add the butter in little chunks there we go and then rub it in with our fingertips until we get a mixture that looks like coarse breadcrumbs all right there we go now we add just enough water to make it come together in a bowl i've actually got about 250 ml there probably won't need all that much so just add a bit Stir it in and just a little bit more and a smidgen and that'll do nicely. So I've used 100 ml to do that. Now I'm going to wrap this in plastic film. So I'll pop that in the fridge to rest till we need it, at least half an hour. Ingredients for the filling, I've got six sardines. I've got 340 grams of fish pie mix. <laughs> I've got three rashers of bacon, 250 ml of fish stock, hundred and fifty ml of double cream, a medium onion, three eggs that need to be hard boiled, a teaspoon of dill, a teaspoon of parsley, 
and also some butter and flour to make a roux with and some salt and white pepper for seasoning. I'll put the fish away in the fridge because we don't need that till we actually assemble the pie. But I'll just tell you a few things. The fish pie mix, you can use any fillets of fish you can get your hands on. I just thought this would be convenient. It turns out to be a bit, a bit dodgy. There's salmon and there's white white fish and smoked white fish and they do not specify what kind of white fish it is which is very odd i suspect it'll be something like bassa or pollock and the sardines you could also use pilchards but guess what they're the same thing sardines are baby pilchards up to the age of two and if you can't get those you can use mackerel what you can't use is uh, sardines out of a tin won't work no heads okay need to peel the onion and dice it and also I want to cut the bacon into squares you can use pretty much any kind of bacon that you want now we're going to start cooking the filling so you want to melt a big lump of butter in a frying pan on medium low heat when it's melted add the onion and just gently cook that for about five minutes you don't want to brown it you just want it to get softened and then add the bacon and let that cook for another five or ten minutes while the bacon and the onions are cooking we can start boiling the eggs so put them in a small pan add enough water cold water to cover them and a pinch of salt don't ask me why I always do and put that on the stove, bring it to the boil. Uh, when it's boiling, put a lid on, turn off the heat and leave it for six or seven minutes. Then take them out and put them in cold water immediately. When the bacon's been cooking for about five minutes, remove it from the pan along with the onions and then add another big blob of butter, get that melted and then stir in the same amount of flour and we'll make it a roux. Let that cook for a minute or so and then add the stock. When that's mixed in with the roux you can add the cream and let those cook for a couple of minutes to thicken up. Now we can add the onion and the bacon back in and the parsley and the dill. Let those cook for a couple of minutes and then give it a taste and add salt and white pepper if you like. Now remove that from the heat and let it cool down completely. Now we're going to peel the eggs. Wow! <laughs> oh, brilliant. Sometimes I have a, a really hard time getting the shell off um, boiled eggs, but uh, well, not this time. So I'm kind of pleased about that. Now we come to a part of the job that I really I'm not keen on doing, uh, which is to um, uh, gut the fish. <laughs> right, come on, come on, Keithy, don't be scared. It's only a little dead fish. You want to cut the um, the fins off, and I am going to cut the tails off. We'll just cut a slit in the bottom. Then you get your thumb in at the tail end and just kind of wiggle it all out. Duh. Not a lot of it there really. And the bones on little fish like these, the, the bones do cook down quite soft. You can eat them. Okay, time to assemble the pie. So you want some flour on your worktop and then take about a half of pastry and roll it out into a disc this will be the lid okay that's big enough so I'll just trim it a little bit away from the edge and then roll out the rest and this will be the base of the pie I should be wearing a pinny so I want a load of flour on the bottom of that 
and just pop it into the tin. Lovely. Now, it's a little known tradition, but the Cornish would have 3D printed little stars to put on their stargazy pie as far back as 1876. Yeah, really. Or, you know, you could just cut out stars or you could just not do it. Okay, I've made half a dozen little stars. They're smaller than they should be, but I don't have any spare time to reprint them bigger. Need to chop the eggs up. Those yolks could probably have done with a little bit more cooking, but I don't mind them at all like that. Okay, and we want to put the, um, the little bits of fish in there. I think there might be too much filling for this size of pie, or this depth. I always say stuff like that and it always works out fine, so don't, don't listen to me. Pop the eggs in. I suspect originally the eggs were just to bulk it up, you know, because it's uh, just that cheaper than fish. Right, somehow I've got to get me sardines in there. So I've moistened the edge with water and I'm going to cut across where each head should stick out. Oh, that sounds awful, doesn't it? I'll grab a sardine and pop it in. I'm saying nothing about Cornish people being crazy. I'm really not. I'll just <laughs> tidy this up, come back in a bit. Now you want to heat your oven, so if it's a fan or convection oven or an air fryer, it's 180 degrees Celsius. For a convention oven, it's 200 Celsius. And for gas, it's six. I'm making up some egg wash to glaze the pie with, so that's just a beaten egg and a splash of milk and a good old whisk. Now we paint the egg wash all over the pie, but not the sardines. And if you've made any little stars, just stick them on. And pop a bit of uh, glaze on those as well. Uh, put that in the air fryer oven for 35 minutes and it should come out lovely, golden, glowing, crispy, crunchy, with fish heads sticking out. Oh yeah. And we're done. I actually gave it a bit longer. I gave it 40 minutes. This lemon... <laughs> well, it's fish, isn't it? You've got to have lemon with fish. So, yeah, uh, I didn't put it in the sauce. I, I, I think that would have been not good. Not with all that cream in it as well. Uh, so that would just be a bit of garnish. Maybe I'll cut it open. Right, here we go. Stargazy pie. I know I could theoretically get this out of the tin, but I'm not going to. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is what it's like. Fishy, i.e. with eggs. And it tastes fantastic, oh my goodness. Um, um. Mm. That might be. A bit of sardine there, that uh, sort of pinky looking flesh. Well, it's a ludicrous amount of work, but it looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, you know, for a special occasion, just go for it, do it. It's great. All right, Pie Week, Stargazy Pie. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. And, oh, press like. See you next time. <laughs>